Yeah, okay, here's a quick snapshot, right? I was born in England, I was there for six months, and then we came back to Australia. Parents divorced, mum and I moved to Queensland, we we're up there, so I really sort of grew up as a Queenslander. And then we came back down to Sydney when I was 11, and I did my sort of secondary schooling in Sydney. Uh, never finished school, got to uh, 16, I basically decided to leave home, leave school, and just throw myself out into the world. One thing led to another, met some people, and I end up uh, at 16, not only changing my name, but my first job in modelling was the cover of Cosmopolitan, October 1978. So that was the start of, uh, of, of a life that I really had no idea where it was going. Look, the thing is, you know, I didn't grow up really with anything, and it, for me it's always been a matter of survival. And I've always been one of those people to really challenge myself. Um, I just, I remember when Nene King rang and said I want you to be the beauty editor. I'm thinking, I've had no experience, I'm not a journalist, I've had no experience in print. But I said, what the hell, I'm going to just give this a go and, and, and give it everything I've got. And I loved it. So I suppose it's the thing that really inspires me is the, the challenge of doing something to see if I can actually really, um, you know, be a success in something and take it on and learn what it is. Um, you know, whatever that next step is. I just want to be my authentic self, I suppose. And the one thing I would say to myself as a 16 year old is, is which I've always challenged myself by, is that I've never felt I was really good enough because not having a, um, a, a sort of a, a background in education and just falling into work at 16, you sort of come with a bit of a chip on your shoulder thinking that you're never quite good enough. So if I could say anything to my 16 year old, I'd say, just believe in yourself, you'll get there and you are good enough.